Hi there, my name is Lorna Campbell and I'm the manager of the Open Education Resources Service at the University of Edinburgh in Scotland. In this presentation, we're going to explore how the University of Edinburgh has embedded strategic support for open education and open knowledge across the institution. Exploring how our commitment to open practice is helping to transform the curriculum and contribute to our shared knowledge commons. We'll introduce our curriculum transformation programme, present a range of case studies from across the university and provide some recommendations that other institutions can follow. So at the University of Edinburgh, we believe that open education and OER are fully in keeping with our institutional vision, purpose and values to discover knowledge and make the world a better place while ensuring that our teaching and research is diverse, inclusive, accessible to all and relevant to society. The university's commitment to open education and OER is in line with the UNESCO's 2019 recommendation on open educational resources, which highlights the role that OER can play in achieving the aims of the Agenda for Sustainable Development. This provides a meaningful and comprehensive manifesto that we contribute to through our sustainability and social responsibility programmes. And the UNESCO recommendation recognises that in building inclusive knowledge societies, open education resources can support education that is equitable, inclusive, open and participatory, as well as enhancing academic freedom and professional autonomy for teachers by widening scope of materials available for teaching and learning. In order to support open education and the creation and use of OER, the University of Edinburgh has an open education resources policy that was approved by our Learning and Teaching Committee in 2016 and updated in 2021. This revision brought the policy in line with the UNESCO recommendation on open education resources to include the following definition of open education resources. Our OER policy is informative and permissive. It doesn't tell you what you must do. Instead, its aim is to encourage staff and students to engage with open education and to use, create and publish OERs to enhance the quality of the student experience, increase the provision of learning opportunities for all, and improve teaching practices. And this policy also helps colleagues to make informed decisions about creating and using OER and provides them with the reassurance that they have permission to share their teaching and learning materials under open license, provided of course that they respect all third party copyright. And in keeping with our commitment to open knowledge, we've shared, shared our OER policy under Creative Commons license as part of an award winning suite of open teaching and learning policies to benefit other institutions across the sector. To support our staff and students to develop the digital skills needed to engage with open education and OER, we have a range of central services based in Information Services Group. The OER service, online course production service, learning design service, Wikimedia in residence, interactive content team and academic blogging service form part of the Learning, Teaching and Web Services Director, Directorate, which is led by Assistant Principal for Online Learning, Dr Melissa Highton. Edinburgh Diamond, a service that supports the publication of open ebooks and journals, is provided by the University Library. And these services provide support for all staff and students. Any colleague who has the ambition to engage with open education or to share their teaching and learning materials as OER can do so with central support. The OER service provides advice and guidance on creating and using OER and runs a digital skills programme focused on developing digital and copyright literacy skills. Understanding authorship, copyright and licensing 
is increasingly critical at a time when both staff and students are actively engaged in co-creating digital resources and open knowledge. The service supports schools and colleges to embed open education and co-creation in the curriculum through OER creation assignments and innovative student experience projects. We manage Open Ed, a one-stop shop that provides access to OER created by our staff and students. And the service also works closely with our online course production service and our Wikimedian in Residence. Our Wikimedian in Residence helps staff and students to develop the digital and information literacy skills through Wikipedia editathons, organised events where people come together to create and edit Wikipedia entries on a specific topic, empowering them to contribute to the global pool of open knowledge. The Wikimedian in Residence also embeds open practice in the curriculum by supporting Wikipedia editing assignments in course programmes across the university. All our services work with academic course teams to engage with open education in the curriculum through open course assignments. Integrating open education and OER in the curriculum can help both staff and students to develop core disciplinary competencies and transferable attributes, including digital, data and copyright literacy skills, understanding how knowledge and information is created, shared and contested online, collaborative working and collective knowledge creation, information synthesis, critical thinking, source evaluation and writing as public outreach. And these, schools, these skills are fully in keeping with the university's curriculum transformation programme, a major long-term initiative to review the shape, design and delivery of our current curriculum to ensure it develops with the needs of our future students in mind. At the heart of this programme is collaboration and dialogue with staff, students and stakeholders to construct a curriculum that continues to challenge and support all students to thrive and fulfil their potential. Our ambition is to ensure that students will find it easier to tailor and complete their degrees as a foundation for future learning, ethical global citizenship and enhanced employability. So I'm now going to go on and look at a couple of case studies of just how we have embedded open education and OER in the curriculum. So Wikipedia is the world's biggest open educational resource and the gateway through which millions of people seek to access knowledge. The information on Wikipedia reaches far beyond the encyclopedia itself by populating other media and influencing Google search returns. Information that is right or wrong or missing on Wikipedia affects the whole internet and the information that we consume. Working together with the university's Wikimedian in residence, Ewan McAndrew, colleagues from schools and colleges across the university have integrated Wikipedia and Wikidata editing assignments into their courses. Editing Wikipedia provides valuable opportunities for students to develop their digital research and communication skills and enables them to contribute to the creation and dissemination of open knowledge. Writing articles that will be publicly accessible and live on after the end of their assignments has proved to be highly motivating for students and it really provides an incentive for them to think more deeply about their learning and about their research. It encourages them to ensure that they're synthesising all reliable information available and to think about how they can communicate their scholarship to general audiences. Students can see that their contribution will benefit the huge audience that consults Wikipedia, plugging gaps in coverage and bringing to light hidden histories, significant figures and important concepts and ideas. This makes for a really valuable and inspiring teaching and learning experience 
that enhances the digital literacy and research and communication skills of both staff and students. So for example, here's Dr. Glare Anderson from Edinburgh College of Art talking about a Wikipedia assignment that focused on improving articles on Islamic art, science and the occult. In a year that brought pervasive systemic injustices into stark relief, our experiment in applying open knowledge outside the classroom gave us a sense that we were creating something positive, something that mattered. As one student commented, really loved the Wikipedia project. It feels like my knowledge is actually making a difference in the wider world, if in a small way. Other examples of Wikimedia in the curriculum assignments include global health challenges, postgraduate students who collaborate to evaluate short stub Wikipedia articles about natural or man-made disasters, such as the 2020 Assam floods, researching the topic to improve each article's coverage. History students came together to re-examine the legacy of Scotland's involvement in the transatlantic slave trade and to look at the sources being used to evaluate the contributions of key historical figures while creating new pages to provide a more balanced view of black history in Scotland. And reproductive biology honours students work in groups to publish new articles on reproductive biomedical terms. Being able to write with a lay audience in mind has shown to be highly useful and incredibly useful in science communication and other subjects such as the study of law. And you can read more case studies of Wikipedia in the curriculum in this booklet from our Wikimedian in Residence, working in collaboration with Wikimedia UK, the UK chapter of the Wikimedia Foundation. Another benefit of embedding open education in the curriculum is that it helps to facilitate the co-creation of knowledge and understanding. Co-creation can be described as student-led collaborative initiatives, often developed in partnership with teachers or other bodies out with the institution, which lead to the development of shared outputs. A key feature of co-creation is that it must be based on equal partnerships between teachers and students and relationships that foster respect, reciprocity and shared responsibility. One successful example of open education and co-creation in the curriculum is the Geosciences Outreach course. This optional project-based course for final year's honours and taught master's students has been running for a number of years and attracts students from across a range of degree programmes, including geology, ecological and environmental sciences, geophysics, geography, archaeology and physics. Over the course of two semesters, students design and undertake an outreach project that communicates some element of their field. Students have the opportunity to work with a wide range of clients, including schools, museums, outdoor centres, science centres, community groups, to design and deliver resources for STEM engagement. Students may work on project ideas uh, suggested by the client, but they're also encouraged to develop their own projects and ideas. Project work is led independently by the student and supervised and mentored by the course team and the client. This approach delivers significant benefits, not just to students and staff, but also to the clients and the university. Students have the opportunity to work in new and challenging environments, acquiring a range of transferable skills that enhance their employability. Staff and postgraduate tutors benefit from disseminating and communicating their work to wider audiences, adding value to their teaching and funded research programmes, supporting knowledge exchange and wider dissemination of scientific research. The client gains a product that can be reused and redeveloped and knowledge and understanding of a wide range of scientific topics is disseminated to learners, 
schools and the general public. And the university itself benefits by embedding community engagement in the curriculum, promoting collaboration and interdisciplinarity, and forging relations with clients across the community. A key element of the course is to develop resources with a legacy that can be reused by other communities and organisations. Open content curator interns employed by the OER service work with geosciences academics to repurpose these materials to create open education resources aligned to Scotland's Curriculum for Excellence, which are shared online through our Open Ed website and TED's resources, where they can be found and reused by school teachers all over the world. These OERs, co-created by our students, have been downloaded over 150,000 times by teachers and learners around the world. And in 2021, we were delighted when this co collection was awarded Open Education Global's Open Curation Award. As part of our commitment to sharing open knowledge, media resources created for our MOOCs and free short online courses are shared under Creative Commons license through our Open Media Bank, where they can be downloaded for reuse and repurposing. This ensures that these high quality media resources are open, sustainable and accessible and can be reused and repurposed by both staff and students within the university and beyond. And we've now shared over 120,000 open licensed videos covering everything from philosophy, history and music to medicine, data and climate change that can be reused by all. One project that reused and repurposed some of this material was open e-textbooks for access to music education. This student experience grant funded project brought together staff and students from the Reed School of Music, the OER service and library and university collections to co-create an open e-textbook by remixing open content originally created for the Fundamentals of Music Theory MOOC and already redeveloped for an on-campus blended learning course. The project set out to create a prototype e-textbook that could be used for undergraduate teaching within the university and shared under open license. The development process allowed us to evaluate open textbook platforms, learn about repurposing content to create open textbooks, and assess the feasibility of extending this approach to further open textbook initiatives. The project also enabled our student partners to develop digital and co copyright literacy skills, including an understanding of OER, open licenses and open textbooks. The students worked closely with lead academic Dr Nikki Moran to co-create the open textbook collating videos and transcripts from the MOOC, text, context, text content excuse me, uh, from the on-campus course, and new material covering music theory in contextual critical global context. The students' thinking around the content and structure of the open textbook provided valuable insight into how rudiments of musical notation are taught. Fundamentals of Music Theory was published on Edinburgh Diamond, the university's ebook hosting platform, in late 2021. And by 2023, it had already been downloaded over 10,000 times by users around the world. The project stimulated redevelopment of both the MOOC and on campus course, with students benefiting from the addition of new video material. Reflecting on the project, Dr Moran commented, in terms of the quality of teaching and learning that these students have received, I believe that they have had great benefit from the reflective cycle behind this e-textbook project, where the students' input and development of my original teaching materials has brought about further teaching and learning enhancement. I also expect this e-textbook to be an important asset in future for on-site students. 
Reflecting on his experience of participating in the project, one of our student interns commented, OER means opportunity to me. The opportunity to share knowledge of a subject in a more accessible format that is mostly not bound by financial capability to access the material hereby creating a channel that facilitates equal education opportunity for all. The Open eTextbooks for Access to Music Education project successfully showed how existing open content can be repurposed to create an open textbook and demonstrated how open education projects can help to transform the curriculum by facilitating the democratic reshaping of teaching materials through student engagement and co-creation. So to conclude, the University of Edinburgh's approach to mainstreaming strategic support for open education through the provision of central services and transforming the curriculum by integrating OER creation and Wikipedia editing assignments can be adopted and adapted by other institutions by following the following by by following the following recommendations. Align support for open education and OER to institutional strategy and global policy drivers, such as the UNESCO recommendation on OER and the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Create a permissive policy environment to encourage staff and students to engage with the creation and use of OER. Provide central services to support the development of digital skills, capability and confidence. Embed open education in the curriculum through Wikipedia editing and OER creation assignments to, to facilitate the development of transferable digital and information literacy skills. Engage students in the co-creation of learning experiences and OER and develop course materials that are open by default, ensuring they are sustainable, accessible and reusable. And if you would like to find out further information, um, you can follow some of these links to find out more about how we've mainstreamed support for open education at the University of Edinburgh. And you're also very welcome indeed to get in touch with either myself or my colleague Stuart Nicholl and we'll be very happy to tell you more about our experiences. Thank you very much.